wire. Basically, always make sure that you're dealing with the top of your picture. So um, I put wires on backwards last time. It's never good. You got to start over again. So start with the the top of the picture towards yourself is how I like to do it. So I know this is my top. So what I'm going to do is industry standard tells me that I want to measure down about a third of the way on this frame to start to put my to secure my wire to start. I get a measurement. It's not a science. I'm at ten and a half. I'm going to say three and a half, three and three quarters would be fine. So we'll we'll pick three and three quarters this time. Make a little mark at my three and three quarters mark over here. A mark at my three and three quarters mark over here. I am going to drill myself some tapping holes. Once again, a tapping hole is just so that the screw doesn't force its way into the meat of the frame and can cause splitting at times or different things. It's just a good idea to have a tapping hole for your screw. So I'm going to drill these holes out. Drill this hole out. Now I'm going to put one hole hangers on. One hole hangers. They swivel in one direction. Basically, there is a contour here where there's a little slope on one side and there's a flat on the other. The flat goes against the back of the frame. So I'm going to put that down on there. I'm going to get my other screw here. And I am going to screw these in. When I put these in, I want this 45 degree angle. I want that because when I pull on this wire here in a minute, I am, it's just going to be nice to have that, it's going to start at the right angle to where my one hole, if this gets in your way, move down a little bit or even take that out, put it below it, it's, you know, if I put that in the wrong spot and I feel like, ah, you know what, I'm going to move that right out of my way here, it doesn't matter if that's here or here, when you do this, it's not that big a deal. It's not really in my way here, I can, I can work with this. So anyway, these one holes are swivelly, they're at my 45 degree angle coming off of the rail, so I'm ready to apply a wire. Now, I'm going to show you two different ways to put a wire on. The first one, or the, to put it through the hole here. When I put this wire on, I'm going to start on my right hand side. And I'm going to put the wire coming through the back of the hole, of the one hole, towards myself. Okay? As I do that, it's just looped one time through. Now I take this wire and I go back over the top of the other, the short end, back over the top of the long end that's still connected over here. I come, I bring it around the back and I go back through the bottom of this whole hanger here. When I do that, it gives me a loop on this side and I bring that back up through that loop that I've created and I have basically two wires, or both ends of the wire coming back up through this loop right here. Get some, get some needle nose pliers and I'm going to pull on that and I'm going to suck that down to where it's in a very tight knot situation that it can never be pulled and come out of that one hole there. That's, that's the best possible way that you can put a wire into a one hole hanger because it's never coming out of there, not unless you completely cut it out. Then I'm going to take my extra end here and I'm going to wrap it around this wire half a dozen times, trying to get it nice and snug down there. And um, I'm actually making this look really pretty and that, that'll come with time basically but you just keep wrapping that around there if you had too much extra it's okay to cut it off you don't need to go all the way out to here you know if you had too much there and just be cautious of wire um, hurts real bad when it pricks you um, so be careful of that I'm gonna set this up for a one hole or I mean I'm not a one hole I'm sorry but a one hanger solution on your wall. So basically I'm going to come up here, but I'm not going to come up so tall that if I put a hanger on the wall it's going to show at the top of my at the top of my frame, but I'm going to give it as much good snug or I mean as, as taunt as I can here, but not as no I'm sorry, not as taunt as I can here so that it has a good loop in it and can actually have something good to connect it. So I'm going to pull that up just to about there. And I'm just letting it slide through my fingertips here. And then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to pinch that. So after I pinch that, I know right where I want, I want to go through that hole. I'm going to cut myself off a good, you know, like three or four inches extra here. So I have enough. Snip off that extra wire there. Now I'm going to show you an easier way that framers have been doing this forever. And that is, is just to start on the back side again. Loop your wire through the edge. Loop it back through again and pull it up. 
you've made a really good tight circle around there. And if you take this now and wrap this around here, it will be good enough for you if you don't want to take the time to learn that knot. Just remember, this one's better, this one will do the job, but you decide how you want to do it. Wrap this one around here. I, I wouldn't stop on six if I, if I did it this style. I'd go up to a good 10 and I'd get that nice and snug around there on that wire. Uh, that's probably good right there. I think that's about nine or 10. I'm gonna cut off that extra, nice and close here to the other wire. Once again, I'm gonna be cautious of that and not ram my finger back down into that. And I'm good now. There's a, there's a trick you can do here. You could take this now, and on your wall, you could hang this with two hangers here, basically on your wall. And what that's going to do is it's going to make it to where your your picture doesn't want to get as wobbly on the wall. It won't. You, you know, it'll it'll hang straighter for you. You can hang it with one, or you can hang it with two. You decide. So, top of my picture is now done. I I can hang this on the wall. I'm good to go. I'm going to flip this around to the bottom. I'm going to take some bumpers. I'm going to apply my bumpers in the bottom corner. Bumpers are basically on here so that they protect your wall from any kind of scuffing that could happen. So, peel the paper off this bumper. Maybe. There we go. Apply those on there. Stick them down. I have a perfectly framed and ready to hang picture that can go on my wall. Thank you for watching this video today. I hope I was able to teach you something on at least a piece of how to fit a picture and put it on your wall. Have a great day.